today we're going to take a look inside one of the most powerful free to play accounts I have ever seen here in Rise of Kingdoms and if Chi looks familiar that's because we also covered his account almost one year ago and I thought it would be interesting to give you guys an update to see how far Chi has come since we last showed off his account if you guys missed that first part the link will be in the description below but in case you didn't know Chi is as I stated, a free to play player. He's from Singapore. So if you guys are watching from Singapore, shout out. But Chi is now in Kingdom 2100 with 78 million power, which is really interesting because the other day he sent me some videos of his account and his power has gone down quite a bit. They did enter KVK. So I imagine Chi has been doing some crazy fighting. Uh, currently, Chi is sitting at 1.3 billion kill points with a majority of those kill points coming from tier five units, which for a free to play player this is very very good he is rocking the france civilization because i believe a majority of his marches are infantry we'll take a look at all of his commanders his equipment and all of his items and stuff like that later in the video so make sure you stay tuned but on top of france having the infantry special unit they also gain three percent health for all troop types so if you're going to diversify into calves and into archers you're still gaining a benefit for those troop types which is really really good taking a look at the more info here highest power ever is 102 million power this is when she went for the zenith of power skin that he has and we'll take a look at his city skins later in the video as well you can see 17.3 million dead troops which is pretty solid 13.7 billion resources gathered which honestly for a free to play player with the age of this account that's not that much uh, because I do believe Chi does spend some time gathering gems in the open field taking a look at the album we only have one image here which is that of him getting imprisoned r-i-p-g-g -G. but without further ado let's jump right into Chi's account you can see here that Chi does still have the Minamoto emblem this was a big thing people got confused in my last video because they saw my account there were some parts of the video where I like was in my city basically and they thought that the Minamoto was gone because that was my account but no Chi does still have the Minamoto logo so guys I want to issue you a challenge okay if you think that you know a free-to-play player that has a better account than Chi who still has the Minamoto emblem I would love for you to reach out to me over on discord or in the comment section below let me know what their player ID is or if it's you directly then just reach out to me on discord I would love to show off your account here in a YouTube video but as you can see here this was sent to me on September 14th so uh eight days ago he was at 87 and a half million power so a lot of power has been lost VIP 16 we'll take a closer look at that later and entering KVK I think this was before any fighting happened uh 300 million of of uh food 288 million wood 200 million stone and 418 million gold so definitely a little light on the resources going into kvk but it is worth noting that she does not have any farm accounts that is one thing that i think is really unique about chi is that he just doesn't want to deal with having multiple farms he could fight more if he used farm accounts but he just doesn't want to deal with multiple accounts and honestly i get it that's the reason i always forget to log into my farm because i just don't want to deal with it man anyway if we take a look here we see that she does have the top copy palace nice action point recovery for free to play players here archer defense is beautiful losing attack is totally fine but it's also worth noting that she does have the zenith of power atlanta skin uh this is the same skin that i also have uh, as well i believe we actually were in the same kingdom when this zenith of power came out so we were competing against one another which is pretty cool taking a look at the commanders over here we can see that he does in fact have Guan Yu expertise which is quite interesting uh we can take a look at the equipment here we have all gold everything unfortunately no talents uh and also no iconic crystals Chi does have iconic crystals in his uh, inventory I believe I don't know if he's saving them for things that have talents perhaps that might be the case uh one thing I'll notice here um the, the shield the golden shield here uh, this really honestly if I could go back in time I would warn Chi not to craft this in particular because I do believe especially for Guan Yu he'll get better trades with the talented blue shield uh and the golden shield only sort of outclasses that once you get the talent on the gold shield as well regardless all golden set looking absolutely beautiful with the ring and the horn here we see his herald which is also expertise he's got the purple helmet and chest piece with the Sakura Fubuki so again this is three attack pieces on Harold that I think 
I, I just I don't know if that's a great strategy here we do see the golden with the talent gloves and Shio's return down here love to see that he also got lucky with the talent on uh, I believe this is what vengeance and you could see he did actually use a uh iconic crystal here which honestly this is an absolutely insanely good piece for hell the fact that he got the talent on here is huge normally I would say go for the set gloves but the fact that he got lucky with the talent here as well is just incredible but realistically with Harold I would say th these attack pieces really gotta go that's just my opinion and I know that you know for for a free-to-play player it is difficult to get those blueprints for, especially for the chest and the helmet here but I think uh ultimately he may see better returns on that we will have to wait and see if uh if he actually uses Harold primary or not because you can see he does have a uh expert Pakal. Next, we have his Zhang Yu, which is also expertise. Absolutely incredible here. You could see almost all golden stuff on Zhang Yu. I love to see it. We have the helmet, the chest, the gloves, and the boots. Absolutely incredible pieces here. Pretty much done. He pretty much has to do nothing else with his Zhang Yu other than maybe add another accessory here. I would say the dagger, probably you want to put that on somebody who's a little bit more tanky, who's going to last a little bit longer in the open field than Zhang Yu. But the damage output here is going to be absolutely ridiculous and if Zhang Yu is hitting like a truck during that health reduction it's going to be beautiful taking a look at his Nebu we do see a 5524 Nebu which is a really solid configuration and honestly he's probably terrified to add another uh, skill point into Nebu because if it goes into that third skill it's just an absolute waste of sculptures and it just gets so expensive up here I'm curious to know if Chi is still using uh, skill resets on this Nebu as he gets them if he gets them I have no idea if or how free to play players can get skill resets at this point in, in time uh but regardless still a nice configuration and here we see that uh the, the equipment on Nebu is definitely lacking this is definitely the biggest opportunity for Chi uh we do see that everything here has talent except for the boots down here which you know it makes sense um this is it's a solid build here I do believe that Chi went ahead and uh, dismantled a lot of things in order to get all of the legendary pieces that he does have and so again it does seem like um the the archer set is uh kind of just a glass cannon march that he has uh, for what I assume to be a YSG secondary. Now, I'm pretty sure that's it for equipment. He does have some gathering sets and he does have some windswept pieces and things like that. But if you're curious to know how many legendaries does she have expertise, the answer is 14. So if we take a look here, we have Guan Yu, Harold, Zhang Yu, and Pakal, which is beautiful. He's got the Pakal Harold combo here, which is very solid for free to play players in the open field. Uh, next, he has the Scipio. Ethelflaed, obviously. We have Cao Cao, which he did expertise from gold keys alone, which is very, very nice. And we have the expertise YSG. That is a given, absolute must have. Next, we can see here he expertise Martel from the gold keys alone and expertise Alexander the Great as well. We do know, as we saw earlier, 5524. Or Nebu and I believe uh, the Saladin is five 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 one I don't know if he actually shows that here we see Ashida and uh Sunduk both expertise from obviously gold keys and the pick one chests Julius Caesar he said is four five four five which honestly he this must have been like his first legendary that he just you know started up before he understood the game which is fine nobody really cares about Caesar anyway I guess I should move my video camera over here a little bit uh he doesn't show every commander that he has here in the video but he did say that he has a 5511 Leonidas, a 5551 William, as well as with that Saladin that we just saw over here. He also has a 5111 Nevsky, which he does plan on expertising. He just wants to see some testing from Joan of Arc Prime first. He also has a 5511 Constantine, which probably is just in his Canyon lineup at this point. And it's also worth noting that he has a 5553 Mehmed and a 5553 Frederick both of those only from gold keys so getting really close to expertising that Mehmed is going to be really solid for uh pretty much anything open field fighting or Canyon oh and he did actually clarify that he does plan on expertising Nebu at some point okay with all that being said we've gone over all the commanders and all of his good equipment let's take a look at some of the pairings that she uses for fighting so his first pair is obviously Guan Scipio I've been telling you guys this forever for free to play players, medium spenders, big spenders, this is one of the best open field marches in the entire game, especially with that golden equipment. Absolutely incredible. We love to see it. His second march that he has saved here under presets is his Herald with his Alex. This is something that obviously I've also 
talked about here on the channel but is a very solid combination for free to play even for players like me it's a great combo i don't think anybody is going to be disappointed with this pairing i hope one day we get a relic on alex to make this even more powerful moving on we have the nebu with ysg this is a no-brainer obviously um this is his best archer pair that he could do and it, it just it just makes sense hopefully he gets uh some more equipment in the future to make this even more deadly taking a look at his cavalry he has the zhang yu with william so this is a little bit more squishy than i would recommend for free-to-play players normally but i do believe that he went all in on uh xy a long time ago when xy first came into the game so for him it just made sense he already has some expertise you might as well use him william is an excellent pairing for him as well so we love to see that and that's everything that he has actually in the presets he never shows us the fifth one but i assume that he uses pakal herald in instances where he wants to just pop out of the city and fight basically a surrounded losing fight and just get really solid trades and when he does that i'm sure he probably takes all the gear from his guan puts that over on his pakal and accomplishes it in that way it's also worth noting again that he does have the 5551 saladin so in instances where he wants a tankier cavalry march he could just move all this really good equipment from his uh zhang yu over to the saladin and then boom he has a more tanky march he can use for his cavalry if he wants to okay let's take a look at the resources that she has hoarded here obviously he's probably blown through a lot of this because he is in kvk at this point but you can see a ton of the resource packs uh, i think it's a b and c here absolutely incredible stuff you can also see uh, he's got a nice amount of the coins here and that is a lot of vip that he just scrolled past which he must be getting from uh, just being in a really powerful alliance as well as all of these gems here as well we're gonna see chi use all this stuff a little bit later in the video so stay tuned for that he told me in pack form this is 2.5 billion food 3.5 billion wood 2.8 billion stone and if he includes all the pick ones in with his gold tokens here as well which we can scroll down and see that he's got less of this than anything obviously it's gold he has about 874 million gold which is pretty good stuff here definitely that's the biggest opportunity because if you're going to be using a lot of t5s that's what you're going to run out of first absolutely look at that he's just got 10,000 VIP points just sitting there chilling like just doing nothing guys if you wanted to know the uh, keeping these golden tokens is actually a pretty good bargaining chip you definitely want to uh if you're a free-to-play player and you are looking to migrate in the future sometimes you can uh basically tell the Alliance that you need passport pages and they usually won't really want to waste their credits uh giving you a passport page just to leave but if you are hoarding these gold tokens then of course you can basically say hey I can basically give you these gold tokens for the passport pages basically and I think that's a pretty good strategy so he is hoarding those as well so boom he's going to use all the VIP points here just spamming all these and just oh my gosh he's already VIP 16. Uh, he hasn't been focusing too much on VIP since hitting VIP 16 because it's just such a big jump from 16 to 17 for free to play just takes so so long here you can see he uses all the gems so 505 gems there let's keep track of this here we get 2380 gems from the 10 tokens um moving on we have 800 gems from the other i don't remember what the previous one was uh here we have 1200 gems from the hundreds here we have 1400 gems here we have 2000 and here we have another 2000 so that was an easy 10k gems right there we love to see it next we're going to take a look at the speed ups which oh my god this is really nice stuff here so we actually have a full breakdown he told me um generic plane and jane speed ups here he has 2347 days building speed ups he has 224 research 348 training 260 healing 268 so obviously the generic are what he's going to use if he ever pushes a zenith mightiest governor whatever or you know he did say that he's not afraid to use those in healing and fighting because at this point he's already maxed out a lot of stuff he has great skins he has great uh commanders so you know at this point he's just enjoying the game here we can take a look at his boosts and he does have a really solid amount of the 2k expanded trainings here um he's got a lot of the 20k and a few of the 50k as well which is really impressive stuff how he has so many of these 24 hours i have no idea maybe he hoards them but i i am i'm running low on all those boys i have no idea what's going on there so here we got a ton of equipment material chests i hate these random ones but he's got a lot of them he's got 41 of the epic 69 of the blue we love to see that 13 legendary pick one chests over here that's really sweet as well i do believe he pops those open later here in the video 
and uh just a quick check here he does have uh, a lot of nice pieces of equipment here he scrolled pretty fast but we can't uh, we can't really get all of it but we saw it on the commanders we do see scolas's coin i didn't even realize that when i was looking at his herald definitely not a piece that i would recommend it's possible that he got this piece a very long time ago when it first came into the game granting a shield is good if you know you have your expertise to go on you i honestly this should probably if he does a guan leo this this is probably what he wants that on but it does make sense you want to give a shield to Harold because he does reduce his own defense so if he's doing a Harold Alex this you know makes him a little bit more tanky I guess so nice stuff there here we see his gathering set uh he has it looks like two full gathering sets uh here we see more gathering pieces in the blue area and he does have I think like two windswept sets a couple of random blue pieces few random green pieces and then some extra uh, gray pieces as well I think some of those give you bonus damage to barbs and stuff so it's good to keep those on hand if you're free to play and you're going to be grinding barbs in the open fields now if we scroll back a little bit we could see he has five iconic crystals here 61 of the epic iron which is really really awesome stuff lots of good materials over here which we we love to see now we take a look at the supply boxes 705 supply boxes oh my goodness he's a true hoarder 167 of the legendary tavern keys he has 144 gold keys 110 of the equipment keys as well so it's possible that he's saving the gold keys for uh you know when you get the lucerne scrolls quest that requires you summon a legendary commander that's probably what he's saving those for not sure why he would be saving uh the equipment keys or anything like that maybe he just likes to hoard them all i don't know he's got 35 hammers here which is always good and you can see 238 of the legendary commander sculptures so definitely running a little bit low there he's probably saving them up um you know the the strategy for free to play is save up to 690 and then wait to see what the latest and greatest thing is and invest in that if you have a really solid pair for it so i'm assuming he's either saving for nevsky or joan prime here we could see that he has a ton of extra relic coins and exhibit coins probably saving up in case we do eventually see season two commanders in there because realistically a lot of the stuff in that shop is garbage so he's probably just hoarding at this point but he does have the relic for Cao Cao, Ethelfled, Martel, YSG, and Mehmed. That's a really solid pickup there, even though it's not expertise absolutely something that you uh that you want to have opening the 705 supply boxes for us you could see all the stone that he gets here we get uh 42 of the 15 minute training speed ups uh seven gold keys some really interesting stuff we he didn't scroll down there we got 50 magic chests Ooh, nice four basic army expansions four talent resets 13 hours of speed ups some pretty good stuff from the magic chest that's the chest you get for like, completing your dailies by the way if you forgot uh bone necklaces from the lohar event we got a nice little gem pick up there which was great we have treasure of the warrior queen he has 600 of these so let's see how many uh universals he gets here if any and boom he got two he got two universal legendary commander sculptures that is absolutely insane i feel like i've seen people open a thousand and get zero so the fact that he got two out of 600 i feel like is pretty solid I, I don't know maybe I'm going crazy there 400 silver keys yikes dude that's horrible only 20 epics that the drop right there is hilarious I I just I, I can't believe it um let's see what he does here with the equipment material chests maybe he opens these for us oh we got the golden kingdom equipment chests 39 of those and boom two legs two chests and 37 gold keys or crystal keys sorry we pretty much expected that here have Ian's ballad chest 17 uh crystal keys as well pretty lame stuff there we have 30 Soroli uh chests here we have one of the chests two gloves and one uh weapon 26 crystal keys here opening the archer chests we have infantry chests this is all kind of epic stuff not that important for most players but he does still seem to need some uh, good archer gear so that's important equipment material chests here oh my god okay so we see the drop rate of bone seems to be a little bit lower which honestly that's great I love that um so we have about 200 even split of everything else less bone that's always good uh, I'm glad that it's not a 25 percent chance at least I mean I don't know maybe it is split 25 and he got lucky but it seems to me that you get less bone from from these than anything else which is very solid thank you Lilith for that 488 of the greens and boom again we see a similar split here far less bones than anything else so again very nice love to see that we have 69 of the blue chests and boom oh wait what was that yes much less bone than anything else and uh oh okay he's getting less iron ore it seems like that's unfortunate here we have 41 of the purple and boom there it is less bone than anything but I mean again this could be RNG because he didn't get that much ebony either love to see the uh iron ore Whew, that's a ton wow that's really good stuff that's like four legendaries worth of iron ore right there which we, we love it 
here he shares with us his season of conquest shop and you can see he's already spent all of his tokens on the uh legendary materials and universal heads which i think is a great strategy um he already has some good city skins so i think for him he just basically buys all the equipment stuff that he needs and anything left over he probably buys universal heads maybe uh because honestly that's what he needs at this point the most he needs equipment uh so let's go ahead and see here what he can and can't forge all right it looks like he's planning on forging the hope cloak which honestly is very solid we did see the attack piece for the chest on his other March so this is going to be a huge upgrade for him especially if he gets the special talent are we going to see are we going to see it does he want to do it and boom okay no talent that sucks I really I love when free to play players get talents because it's just free value that is so good for them uh it's unfortunate that he didn't get it um I, I wonder if he should have dismantled the Quinn soul beforehand I'm not really sure maybe he's going to use it on something else but that's a huge upgrade for his Herald like absolutely oh he's also going to go for the ring of doom and boom he goes for it and uh, oh my god okay so two legendary crafts here in the video thank you for sharing that with us Chi absolutely incredible it looks like he saved all this for this moment uh and what does he do with it he puts it on his Zhang Yu honestly super super good choice there we love to see that that Zhang Yu is gonna be an absolute monster in the open field look at that that's such beautiful equipment I mean this is a free to play player guys oh my god now he did share with me also his login streak is 1397 days so he's been playing almost as long as me which is truly incredible you can see how far away he is from VIP 17 so I mean he's like 800,000 away it's gonna take forever as free to play so that's why for him he's really not focusing too too much on this and just gaining it passively by being in a good alliance I guess I should zoom out here just so that way it's proof that it's G okay no 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 funny business going on here all right now I did ask him a couple of questions just so that way you guys know some best practices for free-to-play players okay because I think that a lot of us can agree this is one of the better free-to-play accounts in the entire game so I asked him how long does he play per day I'm just curious like how do you have an account like this he says he plays on and off throughout the entire day probably adds up to about three to four hours per day if not more he said during kvk probably much more since there are quests to complete every day during kvk perhaps five to six hours per day which again makes a lot of sense you have to be really active as a free-to-play player to have an incredible account like this i also asked him about how he spends his ap especially now that we have the nerf to barbarian forts and their rewards he says he does a mixture of both during the off season a lot more forts because i can launch one and it's faster to eat on eat down the ap barbs are harder to chain in the home kingdom even if i use 100k march basically i have a lohar ysg wandering all of zone three and uh that's what he does when he logs in uh, he basically uses peacekeeping commanders instead of richard to chain barbarians in home kingdom because of the talent tree that gives you bonus resources during kvk a lot more ap is spent on barb chaining mainly because the bastion quests obviously and he doesn't launch barb fort rallies because he doesn't have minamoto so his tauto ethelflaed gets too many hospital bill uh too big of a hospital bill for him more than double of what a typical minamoto tauto gets so a four and plus the fort costs 300 ap so if he spams them then he can't really do pretty much anything else with his ap and he's just getting so much in his hospital for kvk barb chaining he uses ethel fled with herald again because of the peacekeeping tree he said a herald hits slightly harder than ysg but he still doesn't survive five barbs you usually have to refresh the march after every large chain next i asked him about the wheel of fortune more than gems and the egg event as well as esmeralda i was curious to know where does he spend his gems like what is he doing with these gems for the wheels he says that he uses all the free attempts obviously and all of the 50 percent off spins and then he does a single 5x spin so that way he has 11 spins on every single wheel and he gets the five free heads he said if there's a commander that he really wants to expertise for the meta then he will spin more than 10 times and that is the only time that he will spin more than 10 the last time he did this was Scipio so it's very rare that he will actually pick a commander and go all in on the wheel which he has to do as a free-to-play player uh so far he has not spun or done the Esmeralda event other than the free spins and for the egg event he does actually prefer it he said it costs less to spin or less to do that event 
and it has a mixture of blueprints and materials which he actually needs both of for more than gems he has not been maxing the 50k gems for this event ever since reaching vip 16. honestly pretty solid he said sometimes i still do the seven one day and seven the next day but the items i spend on nowadays are the 50 percent expansion and the 10 percent defense buff no longer on vip next i asked him about farm accounts because i always have this assumption that a lot of free-to-play players have a ton of farm accounts and he said that using a lot of farms as a free-to-play player is a great strategy but he just can't be bothered to play multiple different accounts it's too much work and for him it takes away the fun of playing the game and that's a huge thing i know that a lot of people treat this game like a job at some point right but for him he just doesn't want to deal with it and i can totally understand that so then naturally i asked him well how do you have enough resources to fight in war and he said first of all he doesn't actually have that many resources which you've already seen but he also says that he doesn't use five marches in the open field which is also another important tip for free-to-play players he said he uses three marches for open field fighting one to join rallies and one to join garrisons sometimes he has he leaves one slot open just for grabbing a rune or refreshing the rune and he said that he typically likes to keep one slot open if he can just for flexibility so if he needs to quickly join a rally or quickly join a garrison or throw out his Bacall Herald or something then he has that flexibility to do so uh, and he, the reason that he doesn't use a bunch of marches in the open field is because he doesn't really have the equipment to do so so if he lags or disconnects or he gets caught in the open field or something his hospital doesn't explode in two seconds so yeah and he also obviously does batches of healing uh all the time that's always how he heals down the hospital which again makes a lot of sense and then finally uh he shed a little bit of light as to where he gets all of his gems from because i'm sure a lot of you free to play players want to know that and he says that he farms gems a ton especially in lost kingdom he's constantly farming gems and if he's in home kingdom and he feels that he has a decent amount of resources then he starts to farm gems in the home kingdom as well he also says he gets a lot of gems from event rewards and especially during kvk chronicles so you want to pay attention to those as well having all the passes and holy sites for the first capture also marauders pre kvk and rebuilding the fortress those chests all give him a ton of gems and that's pretty much everything those are all the tips that she has for you guys and all of the progress that he has made on his account in the last year since we first talked about it here on the channel again if you know a free to play player who still has the Minamoto logo here maybe that's you and you think it's better than cheese account I would love to hear from you in the comment section below or shoot me a message over on my discord I would love to see your account and share it with everybody here on YouTube if you're new here subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kings video we're so close to 40,000 so all of your engagement with the videos helps out a ton if you have questions for Chi you can probably drop him in the comment section below he might check a couple here and there and of course anybody who is trolling or saying bad things about him just to be rude or whatever you're just gonna get banned with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace